Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to bring you right back to Kilauea. There has been a huge change, not only in still the erupting activity, incredible images of golfers right next to the vents. The magma has just changed. It has morphed from what was that really thick kind of marshmallow magma oozing out to something that's flowing like a river right now. It just instantly changed overnight. It's now pouring into the sea in several different areas. Taking a look at the sulfur dioxide concentration, that has spiked also something like three times what it was a few days prior. Going to give you some great resources here from the Honolulu Star Advertiser for different webcams so you can follow the eruptions. And I'm going to bring back to that story, sunspots vanishing faster than expected because a lot of these changes we're seeing with volcanoes are related to the solar cycles. And to follow up on these Florida rains, yes, indeed, there was that much rain that came down. And this video is brought to you by TrueLeafMarket.com, heirloom and organic. It's in all the links are below for this video, as well as links to True Leaf Market. Overnight, Kilauea has changed. There's some breathtaking photos coming out with the Milky Way over Kilauea. This is not the uptick I'm talking about, but there has to be something related with the sunspots vanishing faster than expected. This next solar cycle predicted to be far lower than what our current solar cycle is. And the drop-off on solar cycle 24 is happening a couple of years faster than was predicted at the start of the solar cycle, making this one of the shortest in at least the last 200 years back to the Dalton minimum. And with today's technology and everybody having phones and cameras, the images coming out are absolutely spectacular. You got people playing golf right next to a live erupting volcano. I mean, where else on the planet can you do that except for Hawaii? Explosive eruptions. Now there's a bunch of new wide angle camera lenses coming out from the US military monitoring this 24 seven, even with thermal imaging. Incredible shots. This steam plume that's now coming from the ocean as well as what's coming out of the, the caldera itself. And since this has been erupting since the early 1980s, it, it just does not look like there's any end at all in sight. What happened last night is the magma composition has changed. It is now a very liquid, easily movable, very runny type of lava, spreading literally like a river now. The Pahoehoe lava, which was that thick type of real slow, billowing pillow lava that was coming out, they thought was from the magma chamber that was under Kilauea, but this new lava that is now coming out of Fissure 22, 21, and rolling down to the seaside is something entirely different in the thickness of this magma. There was definitely a change overnight. Don't know what it is, but the images coming out just speak for themselves. You have to realize this is all just in a single evening when this has occurred with the new lava flows coming out. So everything you've seen in the news, you know, is 100 meters wide, three or 400 feet long, but this is all in a single evening. Now taking a look at new, where the new active flows are, they're all the way to the seaside now. You have to realize that they went some miles overnight down to the seaside coming in here. This is what the steam cloud looks like now. They're telling people to keep the distance as it's sulfur dioxide laden and also silica needles and it's an incredible breathing hazard. Also at the same time, the sulfur dioxide has spiked three times from what it was just a day prior. That's a 300% increase in that type of gas coming out. And also I've had a few people write in and say, hey, do you have any other resources that we can track that? Because the last video I was talking about the real time Google map that was showing locations and different breakthroughs, hazards, etc. Well, here's another one, Honolulu Star Advertiser. Now on this website, they have five different live webcams that are in different parts of Kilauea, as well as looks at the thermal vent, observation tower images, and two different angles from the vent itself. Obviously it's night when this was taken. And then chasing down the end of the story here, Florida flooding to see truly how much there was, putting it into context, not just focusing on Florida. 
Come to the wide out view and see what types of weather we're getting. So many changes are going on in our atmosphere. These volcanic eruptions are going to continue to intensify. And looking back through history, when the sulfur dioxide starts to purvey the atmosphere of our planet and the ash, this affects our food production. We can beat the grand solar minimum with our new technology. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. TrueLeafMarket.com, heirloom and organic seeds. They have a full range of sprouting seeds in there along with sprouting guides on how to. So even if you don't buy, check out the website. I put the link below.